up you guys welcome back to my channel I apologize in advance for all the noise I'm starting my vlog off at the car wash so I was um, I just got out of a detox massage with Essentia you guys know I get those every week um, so I'm at the car wash spot because dude I haven't washed my car you guys no joke maybe like three or four months that is so bad but I came to this little this little car wash in Compton that my homie recommended me so hopefully they get down on my car because oh my god you guys my car is so bad let me show you guys like this is embarrassing I can't believe I've been driving around like this I'm like the typical girl that don't wash her car you know what you guys I don't wash my car that often but I do clean my house every day okay so that makes up for it You guys, look at my baby. It's nice and shiny, girl. She's ready for the weekend. Look how shiny she looks. All right, guys, so um, I came to eat at this little spa. It's a little Sinaloenta restaurant, and oh my God, this is my second time coming here, and I've been wanting to come for so long. Let me just show you guys what I got. I have machaca. Oh my God, I've been craving machaca for so long with frijoles puercos and queso fresco. And then one of these is a mulita, and the other one is a vampiro. And then Crystal and Jizz got quesadillas. They like fire. Put it in the middle, babe. You guys, look at how bomb their papa looks. Now I regret saying I wasn't gonna share. <laughs> she knows she wanna buy. I'm gonna dress this on, okay? okay. Let's see. So. Let's do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You guys, so I'm doing a little bite. Yes. This is this is the frijoles puercos with the machaca. And I put queso fresco in it and their house salsa. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so fucking fire, you guys. We came to the liquor to buy some snackies. <laughs> oh shit, damn, this shit's lit, bitch. They got hella alcohol up in here. This is what I picked out, guys. You guys, tell me why we did a second stop at 7-Eleven. Look at this motherfucker. Do you think you're human? You wanna go in your bed, mama? Come on, come on. Good morning, guys. So today, Benji and mamas are having a spa day. Mm -hmm. He's having a heart attack because he wants to get out. Um, so I brought him to his grooming appointment, you guys. He's matted. He has like a licking problem. I'm thinking about changing his food out. I don't know if it's his food or maybe like something's on his skin that's making him super itchy because he'll start licking himself and he mats himself. Like I keep up with this brushing, but he's always licking himself and he just like tangles himself. So unfortunately i think i'm gonna have to bald him today and he's gonna be sad he doesn't really like being bald but we're gonna work on it huh bench show them how cute you look mm. okay let's go okay guys so i just took a benji in dude i don't know what to put my dogs like i took benji in and this guy freaking peed like in three different spots because he wanted to claim like his territory i don't know what's up with him he has little man syndrome the grooming lady tries to pick him up to take him to the back and he starts freaking growling at her so that's probably gonna be another 50 dollars charge because it happens to me once in a while well though they will charge me because benji's like being a little asshole so i don't know what's up with him like he just has major attitude problems um he doesn't have them with me but he does have them with other people like if he doesn't really know you like that but anyways, I just dropped my kids off. So now your girl needs to go get some coffee because I'm freaking sleepy. I don't know who needs to hear this, but the potato wedges are back 
at Jack in the Box because I was devastated when I found out they took them all. But they're back, guys. Hey guys, so I just got off the treadmill, so I'm making dinner a little late. I look crazy per usual, but oh my god, guess what guys, I'm trying to make rice again. So this is my second time trying to make it. Wish me luck, I'm so scared. This is what it looks like right now. I think it's just about done to add the tomato sauce because I just wanted to make it gold. And you guys, look at my bench. Hi, Betty. I'm sad, you guys. I had to shave off his hair because he was, like, matted. But we're going to start fresh, huh, Bench? I'm going to buy him a little sweater. That way he don't feel naked. Mm. Let me show you guys Mama. Hi, Mama. He's so pretty. He's so pretty, Mama. Look at this little bowl they put on her, guys. They put this cute little bow on her. They said mama's was such a good girl. Oh God, I'm scared to even take my eye off of this freaking rice. I'm not a professional yet. I'm not gonna feel like a senora till I get rice and masa down. Okay guys, so here's the mix that I made. It's two tomatoes, a cup of water, one garlic clove, and a piece of onion. Not good. I can tell you guys that much. Is it going to be edible? I don't know. All right, guys. This is what my fajitas are looking like. I'm making some chicken fajitas. But you guys, I am cheating because I'm using Lori's chicken fajita seasoning mix. And I usually, you guys, I don't like to use seasoning mixes like these. But this one, I love you guys. My sister used to make this for us when we were little. And like now, like we still, we still use it. And it's so freaking bomb. And the little packet is like, well here in Cali, it's like $2 and like something cents. So it's super fast and it's super easy. I'm actually making a reel and a TikTok on it. So I'll include it in this vlog. So you guys could see the recipe. It does have like the instructions in the back, but I know you guys like to see me cook or whatever. So it smells so bomb. Look at my little setup, you guys. Okay, guys, this is what my rice looks like. Um, I haven't really tasted it, so I guess we we'll shall see. But I apologize in advance if the rice is crunchy, okay? I'm practicing on how to make rice. So, I want you to rate my rice. Let me know if I'm getting better. There you go, sir. You guys, I'm the only one in this house who uses the tortillero. Because I hate when my tortillas are cold. So I put a little napkin in here first. I'm going to throw my little tortilla in. This is a little cheap one, but it does the job. All right, guys. He's going to do a little taste test for me on the rice. Let us know. It's not crunchy. It's not crunchy? No. Is it good? Mm-hmm. Well, thanks, Pa. Is it as good as mom's or not there yet? Mm-hmm. Well, thanks, Pa. And you guys, this is the cazuela, the pan that I got at Ross. Um, the one that came with the lid that I bought specifically for my rice. And you guys, look at how bomb. Like, I'm a newbie at making rice, but I just want to show you guys. Like, it's not even stuck. That's how good this brand works. This one is the Cuisini Art. So if you guys ever see these at Ross, you guys should try them out. I just finished making the food, but I'm putting it in the microwave because I already know my psychopath is going to want to put it in the microwave. 
All right, guys, and here is my plate. Look at how fire that looks. I'm also going to eat it with some sour cream and a tortilla. But I wanted to show you guys my plate. So fucking bomb. This is going to be so fire. And it was super quick and easy to make. Hey guys, let's make chicken fajitas using the Lori's fajita seasoning mix. This is what you'll need. I used about three chicken breasts and I sliced them up into pieces. Then I fried them up in a pan and I seasoned it with a bit of Lori's seasoning and some black pepper and garlic salt. Once the chicken's almost done, I chopped up some bell peppers. I used the green one, the red one, and the yellow one. And I also chopped up some purple onion. Once those are almost done cooking, I used the Lori's fajita seasoning mix. And it does come with instructions in the back. I've made this for so long, you guys, that I already know it. So I just dump in the seasoning mix and I add a bit of water. I just eyeball the water, but it tells you how much in the back. And once I mix that in, I let the seasoning mix cook with the chicken for a few minutes. And this is the finished product, you guys. It was so bomb. My mom has been making me this ever since I was little. And I still make it to this day. It was fire. Alright guys, so I'm going to do a little taste test for you guys with my fajitas. I need like a platform. I wish you guys could see how this work. Alright, so I have my tortilla. I'm about to take a shower after this because I want to be comfortable in my bed and relax. I watch a movie with my puppies. Okay. I'm over here. You guys, I'm making a stand with the freaking queso fresco, okay? Okay. So, oh my god, I'm using, I'm eating the tortillas from, is it called El Comal? They're so fucking fire. I already told you guys last time, but. Alright guys, so I'm going to grab some of my aguacate. I swear I'm obsessed with aguacate because of my dad. Because my dad loves aguacate. And it's sad because my dad he has like kidney problems, like severe kidney problems. Um, so he can't have avocado no more. Okay, guys, um, usually we make beans with this, but this is something I thought to make last minute for dinner, so I didn't have time to put beans. But I made my rice. Let me taste it. You know what, you guys, my rice came out good. It came out really good. But you know what? It came out really good, but it could come out even better. So the third time I make it, it's going to come out even better. Okay, now whew, I'm going to put some of my fajitas in. I'm putting some of the veggies in, the bell pepper and the onion. And then I have some sour cream here. And then I have queso fresco. I'm very particular about how I make my little tacos. I've always been like that ever since I was little. Like usually people just get a piece of tortilla and they like grab everything. I've never been good at that. So I just make like little little burritos or little tacos. And you guys already know you can't forget the tapatio. All right, let me show you guys. Look at how bomb that looks. Okay. Moment of truth. So fucking fire, you guys. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. Wow. He's trying to figure out who this is, guys. He shook. He looks like a whole different person to him. That's Benji Ukes. Do you recognize him? Or do you think he smells that he's been at the groomer? No, hell no. Look, he's tripping. They left him smelling like horchata. Look, look he's like, and who the fuck are you? <laughs> you alright, dude? What happened? He's like, where are my friends and what did you do to them? Paul oh, you. Hey guys, so today's another day. Um, we are back at Disneyland. Well, right now we're at California Adventures. Can you guys tell I have the annual pass? Cause like, I feel like every other vlog I'm at Disney. But I don't even really like coming like that. It's more the twins that love coming. So Britt wanted to come, so I was like, fuck it, I'm down. So here we are. We're actually about to go get a drinky right now. They have beer. I already told you guys this, but in case you didn't know, they have beer at California Adventures. So we're pre-gaming a little bit at California Adventures and then we're gonna go to Disneyland. Guys, we just got on this fucking roller coaster. Where's ours at? Crystal's gonna find it. Oh, wow. oh it's on it. It was like on it. Did you guys find it? Oh, excuse me. Tell me why I ate like room gummies and like I just got on a fucking roller coaster. By the way, I'm scared of heights. Why would I do that to myself? And dude, I was tripping, but I made it alive. Yeah, that was We survived. You guys, OMG, we're getting on this ride right here, and I'm already scared of heights and it drops you. <laughs> Hey guys, so I'm here getting my ass kicked on the treadmill. I did like 45 minutes, so I'm just cooling off now. I'm proud of myself. I worked out three days this week. I'm trying to get back into it. Whew, 
it's really hard to stay on track but like my body type like I have to work out because if not I start like gaining a lot of weight because I'm a foodie so this is how like I try to balance but oh my god Whew. I'm about to make I'm about to make food right now I'm hopping off the shit oh my god sweaty right now oh my god okay so i just hopped off the treadmill i'm gonna wash my hands um and then i'm gonna make some food also tomorrow i have a friend's giving well i'm kind of like brit's like plus one she wanted me to go with her um so i decided to make flan i usually make macaroni salad like whenever i'm supposed to bring a plate but I'm just kind of over the macaroni salad. So I'm just going to take flan. Um, hopefully it comes out. But anyways. Um, so yeah. And then I got to clean up the kitchen a little bit. Me and Britt have been on the go so much. That I haven't really got a chance. Um, we haven't really got a chance to clean up. So I need to clean the kitchen. So right now I'm just boiling my chicken. It's almost done. I'm making tinka for the boys. Bob? Fucking it up over there. That's the second one, guys. The fight's on right now. My sister, Gordo, and Britt are watching the fight. I don't know who's gonna win, guys. I mean, obviously, my first bet would be on Mike Tyson, but I don't know. You never know. You guys, this is the thing I made. Tell me that shit doesn't look bomb. This is why my thinga recipe is one of my most famous recipes. Honestly, it was bomb. Thanks, guys. What do you think, JJ? It was so good. It's bomb, even after our fight with the cup of noodles. He better have eaten, I swear. And then Gordo's making himself a little tostada. He's trying to finesse for some tostada right now. Okay, guys, I'm not even gonna lie. Um, I already fucked up one tostada. But I made myself another one. So I'm going to do the... Ah, oh, I didn't bring a napkin. Fuck. Fuck yeah, I'm going to just use this little hand towel I have right here. But, all right. So bomb, you guys. I haven't had thing in a while. Delicious. Hey guys, I made it to the Friendsgiving. Let me show you guys how my plan came out. I was scared it wasn't gonna come out, but it came out really good. And I have another one in the fridge for when they fuck this one up. So I'm just at home right now. Um, I'm in the middle of editing a YouTube video. I swear, I wait all day to do everything that I gotta do. I'm such a procrastinator. But I always feel like I always get a boost of energy like after 6 o'clock. Like, I don't know why during the day I'm just like so... I just feel tired and I just feel like I don't have a lot of energy. But after like 6 p.m., I just get a boost of energy and like I want to clean and cook and do all my work like editing or create content like I don't know what it is I think I'm just like nocturnal I'm like oh I got cilantro on me I got I feel like I'm a night owl like I function in the night but yeah so I'm trying to make dinner right now and I am um, so hopefully when I'm done after dinner I can finish editing my video um it's not gonna be a very long vlog i don't think so i think i'll have it done by tonight hey my mama did you pretty girl mama's so cute huh guys and look at my problem child bench 
so right now i'm uh working on dinner you guys this is my chicken don't worry it's sealed so nothing is getting on the counter and then here i have the marinade i'm making i'm actually doing a reel on this i've already done a recipe on this but oh my god this marinade smells so amazing you guys and this is yesterday's dinner brit made freaking Alfredo. I need to throw it out. So our stove is lifted up a little bit, you guys, because you guys don't even know what happened. So I think Britt posted what happened, uh, but just to tell you guys a little bit on my channel. Um, so yesterday I was cleaning the couches and Britt was like, oh, I'm going to make dinner. And I was like, okay. Me and Britt had like a long ass weekend. So we were like in bed like the whole day and then we didn't come out to like the nighttime. So I was like cleaning a little bit and she's like, oh, I'm going to make dinner. So, while I'm cleaning the couches, I just hear a, a loud ass, like, thump. Like, it was, like, almost like a bang. Like, I don't know. So, it was so loud. And since I was sitting on the floor cleaning the couches, I even felt, like, the house shake a little bit. Or, like, the floor shake a little bit. And I was like, what the fuck? And I turn around and, like, Britt. I was over there cleaning the couches. And Britt was in here. So, I see Britt, like she's running she's like running out of here like this and then like i'm sitting over there and i'm like what the fuck like what's going on and she's like oh my god oh my god and you guys like because i i heard like the loud thump i thought that maybe i thought that maybe she dropped something like i don't know why i thought she dropped something super heavy because that's what like i was since i was cleaning the couches i wasn't looking at what she was doing i just like heard it and felt it so i thought she dropped something heavy like on the floor and i thought maybe it got her foot or i was thinking even it got the dogs or something i was like oh my god like what the fuck happened so i get up and her and josiah are freaking the fuck out and i'm like what what's going on what's going on brit's fucking having a fucking panic attack she can't even explain what's going on and then Saya goes, there's a fire, there's a fire. And I was like, what the fuck? So you guys, I sprang into action because we have a fire extinguisher in the pantry. And I fucking ran into the pantry looking for the fire extinguisher. And I'm like, where's the fire extinguisher? And then like Britt starts looking for the fire extinguisher with me. Me and Saya and Britt, all three of us are in the pantry looking for the freaking fire extinguisher and then all we could think of is like call ramiro call ramiro so we fucking call ramiro and so i guess what happened was one of the boys first brit thought it was jj but saya was actually the last one who used it basically like um one of our burners doesn't work i believe it's this one it doesn't work so like you'll turn it on and only like the gas will turn on but like the actual fire doesn't turn on. So, um, Britt, when she came to make dinner, she noticed that the one that doesn't work was on. So she yelled at Saya, like, Saya, what the fuck? Like, don't, like, don't leave the gas on. Like, you need to make sure it's off at all times. And he's like, oh, it wasn't me. And they always blame it on each other, you guys. They never say who it was. So he was like, it wasn't me, it was JJ. So Britt, like, didn't think anything of it because he was in the kitchen at the at the same time as her so she thought that maybe he left it on like right there and then so this one was the one that was on and she turned it off so she turned this one on so i guess when she turned that one on and thank god she had put like a olla on top of it like she put an olla on top of the burner because she was gonna boil water the fucking whenever she when she turned it on like it basically kind of like exploded like it exploded but didn't if that makes sense like it's the stove's kind of dirty right now because we cooked yesterday but basically all the burners popped off like all of the burners popped off and all of the knobs popped off and then this also like popped up a little bit too like thank god it didn't come off but it did like if you guys could see it's a little lifted from here so it like kind of exploded a little bit and that's the noise that i heard so luckily brit had like the pot on top of the burner so like the the fire didn't like shoot up like it just stayed like under the burner but it was still kind of wild like it was still burning under the the pot but it was like like burning like irregularly like it was just like burning a lot so 
Um, Britt ends up turning it off with the knob, but she's like, fuck that. Like, let's get out of the house. So she made us all get out of the house. We opened up all the windows. I even tried to call the fire department. I didn't want to like take up their 911 like emergency call. So I tried to look up like the non-emergency, but I'm like, I think that was an emergency now that I think about it. But they didn't fucking answer. I guess they weren't open or whatever. So it's like, why do you have a non-emergency line? It could still be like an emergency, but whatevs. Maybe I should have just called the emergency line. I don't know why I didn't. But anyways, oh my God, you guys. So after everyone calmed down and, you know, we were like calm a little bit, I go back into the pantry, you guys. So I go back into the pantry And get and you guys guess what I see when I go in the pantry? The freaking fire extinguisher. So I literally made Britt and Saya come in here because I'm like, I know I'm not fucking tripping. Like I made them come in here and I was like, did you guys see the fire extinguisher? Like, how did all three of us miss it? And they're like, no, we didn't see it. Like, so all three of us, you guys missed the freaking fire extinguisher and like after everything calmed down i was like well i'm glad none, i'm glad none of us freaked out but in reality we all freaked the fuck out we all freaking panicked but yeah so i ended up disconnecting the the stove um because our stove is electric so i ended up turning off i, I ended up disconnecting the stove and we didn't turn it on for about like an hour or so and then i was the brave one because i was hungry we were gonna door dash but i was like low-key hungry i wanted a home-cooked meal so i was like brit okay i i volunteer i'll volunteer my life so she's like all right let me step back because only one of us has to risk our lives not two so it was like so funny and yeah i ended up turning it back on after a while but yeah this stove got to go because we're always having problems with the burners not working. And then the kids get confused. We told the kids that they're banned from the stove. They can't use the stove no more. They could only use a microwave going forward. But yeah, you guys, um, I survived.